Hi, welcome to another video from First in Architecture. Um, in this CAD tutorial we're going to be looking at how to scale both CAD drawings and also images that you import into your CAD drawing, um, whether that's to perhaps do a trace from them or something like that. Um, so if you've imported a CAD drawing um, into your model space and it's come through um, at the incorrect scale, um, I'm going to basically show you how to sort that out. Obviously one of the most important things when you import a drawing is you need some point of reference, a distance reference. So this drawing I've downloaded from BiblioCAD, um, a great website, loads of CAD blocks and stuff on there, I recommend you check it out. Um, and as you can see it's some large buildings and my reference point here is going to be these floor levels. Um, so that's what I'm going to use to scale up the, the drawing. There are a couple of ways you can use scale. There's both the scale command and the align command. Um, I'm, for this one, I'm going to look at scale and then I'll show you how to use align a bit later on. So, to first things first, what we need to do is uh, select the whole drawing that we want to scale. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you um, what the current distance is. So here we go. So this is saying that that's at 4 metres, 8 metres, 11 metres, and these are um, floor level points. Um, so if I measure that, obviously you can see there it's incorrect. We're gonna this drawing kind of has imported in meters, um, so I'm just gonna work in meters for argument's sake. It doesn't really matter when it comes to scaling anyway. So there's actually something wrong with this drawing because that is supposed to be four meters and that's supposed to be another four meters and it's clearly not. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll work on this one and just imagine that this one's incorrect. Um, so what we want to do is select our drawing. So I'm just going to draw a window around the drawing. And then we're going to press SC for scale. Okay. And the next uh, command we need to do is specify a base point. I'm going to um, actually specify one of these uh, markers here. Okay. Now we could start like scaling it up. As you see, as you drag the mouse, this um, marker is getting absolutely massive. Um, you could also enter a number. If you knew how how much you wanted to scale it by, you could just enter the number in. But obviously we don't. We don't know exactly how out of scale it is. Um, it appeared to be very random. Um, so I'm going to type in R for reference. What this means is we're going to use a reference distance um, to scale our drawing by. So I've typed R. So you can either specify a length, so I could type in now 4 meters, which I might do, um, or you can actually just draw a length. So let's try the um, drawing just because it's easier if you don't know the distances. So I'm going to click from the midpoint of that marker to the midpoint of this marker, and I'm now going to type how big that should be is four meters. Okay, and now if we go in and remeasure that marker to that marker, you can see it's now four meters. Okay, so let me run through that again. So we are first of all going to select all our objects that we want to scale, SC for scale, and we're going to specify a base point. This time, just for argument's sake, I'm going to specify the bottom corner of the drawing. Okay. That you can see there as I start to pull the cursor away it's scaling the drawing up hugely um, but we're not going to do that we're going to use our reference so I'm going to type R for reference press enter okay I'm now going to specify on the drawing the two points um, that I'm wanting to expand to be the correct scale so I'm going to specify this point here and this point here and it's now asking me what I want that length to be I'm going to type 4 for 4 meters in this case Press enter. That's pretty much four meters. Let me just. That's 4.2. I must have clicked incorrectly, but you get the idea of how to go through the process. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Let's move on to another drawing. Okay, we've got another drawing here. This drawing is actually in. Um, well, it's in millimeters, but it's been. I mentioned in centimetres, which is a bit confusing, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so once again, I've downloaded this drawing from Bibliocad. Um, as you can see, it's a great resource. You can get loads of stuff on there, so do check it out. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to show you a slightly different way of doing it. Um, 
the uh, dimensions here are um, put in in centimeters. Um, so if I show you the distance of this dimension here, it's 56 millimeters. It's just a bit confusing this drawing, but anyway, um, 56 millimeters. So it should be 40 millimeters. Uh, likewise, this one should be 210 millimeters, and it's 294. So it's not much out, but we do need to correct it. Um, so I'm going to show you a different way. Instead of entering in the number when we're doing the scale up, we're going to use a reference line. Um, so we're just going to draw that now. So what we're, I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick another um, colour just so that it's clear. And I'm literally going to draw this line how long this dimension should be. So I'm going to draw 210. Let's come through dashed. I'll just change that line type so we can... Clear. Okay, so that's our, our reference line. So let's select all the, um, the all the drawings that we're wanting to scale up. SC for scale. Specify our base point. There we go. And then again, it's starting to scale up for us, but we're wanting to use a reference. So we type R for reference, and it's. Um, asking us to specify the reference length, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to click here, and then it's asking to specify the new length, which is this one here. And there we go. It's scaled down to the line we we drew, which is 210 millimeters. So if I come in and do a measure of these two, let's hope 39.9. That's pretty close. And for the 49.8 again, pretty close. So that's um, another way you can scale a CAD drawing. Um, now let's move on to scaling um, images in CAD. So here I've got a basically a, a JPEG um, which I initially I PDF that drawing that I was working on previously, um, and I um, exported it as a JPEG so that we could insert it into the CAD drawing. You can also insert PDFs. Um, but for some reason I put it as a JPEG. Um, so I brought it in and I'll quickly show you how to do that um, before we start working on scaling it up to the correct size as if we wanted to perhaps trace it. So in order to um, bring in a PDF or a, a, a JPEG, we go to insert at the top menu there and then we bring up, well for this for this example um, we I inserted a JPEG so I'm going to raster image reference click on the image you want to bring in and click open and then we are going to specify on the screen where we want to want to put the image um, and likewise we're going to specify the scale on the screen um, path means um, remembering where the file is saved um, on your machine um, so basically when you set an image into your um, CAD drawing the image isn't actually in the CAD drawing, it, you're inserting the reference of that image. So you're telling CAD where the image is saved in your computer and then CAD is going away looking for it and then bringing it up. So if you then move that image into another folder or something, you would no longer be able to see it in your CAD drawing. So by changing these options here, it means that you are enabling CAD to remember where this image is. So when you close it down and open it up again, it will still be in the CAD file. So I'm going to say full path. Full path means it's going to remember the whole entire path of where that um, file is saved. So for example, if it's in like my documents, CAD drawings, you know, folder one, folder two, it will remember the entire path as to where that is. Um, so those are the basic selections, so we're going to click OK to that, and as you can see now our cursor has a little square next to it which is um, wanting us to click to um, insert the, the JPEG, so I'm just going to click here. And then you can see it's kind of scaling, it's huge, um, or we can enter a scale factor, so at the moment it's just it's guessing that we want it at scale factor 1. Let's see what happens if I type 0.5, so half the size, put it in. Here you go, you can see it's coming really small there. And then you can just like scale up literally by using the grips. Um, however, we want to scale it more accurately. Um, so I'm going to just delete this one 
and we're going to work on the other one that I bought in already. Um, you'll notice that this one um, is a little bit darker than the other one I just bought in. I've just amended the settings so that you could see the cursor more clearly. Um, so when you click on the image you've got these um, options like to amend the brightness, the contrast, but the one that's really useful is the fade. Because if you've got loads of lines going on on the drawing, it's useful to be able to fade it out so that you can see you know, what's going on in the background. Um, so that's a little tip there. So let's get started and scale this drawing up so that we can start tracing it to the correct scale. Okay, first things first, we're going to check the size of this drawing as we brought it in. So I'm going to distance, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click there. And we can see it's 425. What we want it to be is 210. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do something similar to what we did before. Um, by creating a reference line. So I'm just going to create a new layer, call it layer 1, but I'm going to just make it a bright colour so we can see what's going on. So our reference line, I'm just going to draw slightly off the JPEG itself so we can see it, make sure it's straight, and I'm going to draw the reference line of 210, which is that dimension there. Tough, I selected the layer. Let me just put that on layer 1. There we go. Okay, so we're wanting to scale this uh, JPEG down so that this dimension here is the same as this. And instead of using the scale tool, we're actually going to use a different tool called the align tool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the JPEG and I'm going to type align, press enter. So then it's going to ask you a series of um, points to click on. So the first thing it's asking us to do is specify our first source point. So our source point, our first one is going to be down here. So we just basically click as accurately as we can on the base of that. And then we set, it's then asking us, let me just turn ortho off, to specify our first destination point. So we are wanting to marry this point with this point, and this point up here with this point. So our first destination point is the equivalent of this, the base of this line. So we are going to click on this line, our reference line. And then it's saying we want the second source point, so this is a source point here. Click. And then the second destination point, so we want this here. And there isn't a third source point, so we're going to just click continue, so I'm going to press enter. And then it's asking if we want to scale our object based on these alignment points. Well, yes, we do in this case. Sometimes you don't if you're aligning something, just you're wanting to rotate it. But in this case, yes, we do want to scale it because that's the whole point of this exercise. So I'm just going to press Y for yes and enter. And there we go. You can see that it's it's not only um, scaled the drawing down to fit the reference line, but it's also moved the drawing onto that reference line. If we zoom in, you can see that's you know not bad. That's pretty accurate. Um, so that's a way of using the align tool um, to scale a JPEG or PDF that you've inserted into your drawing. Um, I hope this has been really helpful to you. Um, it just shows you that there are a couple of different options of using the um, scale and align commands and um, thank you for watching there's loads more videos coming up so uh, keep checking back on YouTube or on the website and I'll see you again soon thanks